Dear students, I am Shayande from the Department of Mechanical Engineering. In my previous videos about the fitting shop, I have already discussed about the theory portions of this fitting shop. But today, through this PowerPoint presentation, I am going to discuss about some important questions of this fitting shop. Okay, so I am coming to my first question. That is the what do you mean by fitting? Okay. So basically, when we are considering the term fitting, then one another term that comes with that fitting term that is the fit. So uh, at first, I want to tell what do you mean by fit. Mainly, the fit is the degree of tightness or looseness of any uh, matching parts. That means uh, we all know that is the fitting job we do to remove the excess mater material and to make a perfect assembly. Okay, and the fitting means the preparing the matching parts as per the dimensions. This is the actual thing of a fitting. Okay, and we do this uh, this uh, fitting job for the repairing and the manufacturing purposes mainly. Okay, and the person working in the fitting shop, he is called the fitter. Okay, then I'm going to my next question, that is the yes uh, here uh, in this picture we can see uh, this is a enter assembly okay so here is a shaft and hole as i have discussed earlier in my uh, lecture video and uh, to remove the excess material from this upper part that means this part we we have to perform some uh, uh, material removing operation uh, in our fitting shop okay to make a perfect fit it is the main uh, main thing of a fitting job okay so next question is that how the files are classified that means uh, what are the terms that we use to classify a file okay so i want to give give some examples yes through through these pictures uh, we can see uh, I want to prefer this first one. This is the first upper part. That means this starting part. This is called the tip. Okay, and this is called the hill. And this this tip to hill or point to hill. That means this is also called the point. Okay, this point to hill is our working area. Okay, this side portion. This is called the edge, and this portion is called tang which is entered into this handle portion okay and this uh, our working area is hard tempered okay with and it is soft with respect to this tank because this is our main working area that means this portions okay so uh, by this way we can specify the files next question is that uh, what is the difference between a mallet and a hammer Okay, so before coming to the answer, I'm going to show you the pictures of a ha hammer and mallet. In our left hand side, this picture represents a mallet and this is a ball pin hammer. And the application of this uh, hammer and mallet are different as we know all. Uh, we use mallet for, uh, for the wood purpose, that means in our carpentry or fitting or uh, pattern shop, we use this mallet okay that means when we are uh, trying to work on wood then we have to use this mallet okay in the other other works we uh, we use this this hammer okay next question is my name of the various parts of a twist drill okay so again i am going to show you the picture uh, to say my answer so these are the all parts uh, shown in the picture that is the this is the entire portion of a twist drill this is also called a drill bit okay and this this portion that we hold in in the in the in the drill machine that is called sank okay and after the sank there are some portions this is called the neck okay and after the neck there the entire portion is called the body okay and uh, here are the cutting edges multi point cutting tool this is also called that is my also my next question okay 
so these are the various parts of a twist drill okay next question that is the give an example of a multi point cutting tool as i have already discussed the this is the one example of a multi point cutting tool okay in case of cut, cutting tools uh, one thing i want, want to mention there are two types of cutting tools okay single point cutting tool and multi point cutting tool and we are uh, dividing these uh, types according to their cutting edges in multi point cutting tool there are a number of cutting edges okay but in case of single point cutting tool there is one one edge for the cutting one example of a single point cutting tool is the uh, cutting tool that we use in our lathe okay that is the example of a of a single point cutting tool so i'm going to my next question question number 6 that is the what are the uses of a farmer chisel okay here in this picture also we can see there is this is a farmer chisel and uh, we use this farmer chisel in our pattern or carpentry shop and this is this we use for the cutting purpose that means this is a cutting tool okay these are the main uses of a farmer chisel next question there is a what are the uses of a scriber okay this is a very important question so uh, if we want to scribe on woods then we can use the pencils okay but when we are working on the metals suppose we are working in our fitting shop okay then we cannot use the pencils then we we have to use this scribers okay to scribe on the on the metals this is the main applications of the scribers and we use this scriber in our fitting shop there are uh, various uh, portions of this uh, scribers that is various parts uh, shown in the picture okay so now i'm coming coming to my next question that is the what do you mean by tapping operation okay so uh, for the internal threading uh, we use this tapping okay so uh, in this picture we can see this is called the tap wrench and there are several types of taps mainly we use three types of uh, taps uh, first second and third okay and step by step we use these three taps these are the main application of the tap that means if we want to make a internal threading then we use this tapping next what is the differentiate between the tapping and dyeing okay tapping we all know i have just discussed about the tapping that means if we want to do the internal threading we use tap okay but uh, in our left hand side we can see this is a this is called die okay and the operation that is called uh, dying or tapping okay and actual the thing is tap and die and uh, die we use to cut the external threads this is the main difference between tapping and dying okay the so i am repeating again for dyeing we are cutting the external threads and for tapping we are we are doing the internal threads this is the main, main difference between them next what are the applications of a combination set this is a very important question because a combination set consists of several portions like uh, rule uh, square head center head and protector okay here is the entire picture i have a detailed video on this uh, fitting shop uh, part 1 to 1 to 7 please uh, watch my video so you can get a detailed idea of the fitting shops and the applications of the all the hand tools okay and uh, again i am coming to my point that is the combination set so i have already told it is consist of a several portions several parts like the rules uh, square head center head and the protector and it has a various uses like it can be used like a rule okay in this picture we can see there is a steel rule okay and this can be used as a rule okay a square it can be used as a square that means we can we can check it the uh, we can check the squareness through it okay like the tri square we use tri square 
to check the squareness that means the 90 degree with the adjacent side okay so we can use also this com combination set to check the squareness another point another use is that the error it can be used as a depth gauge okay that means to measure the depth another important uh, use of this uh, combination set is to measure and marking the angles that means it can be also used uh, like a protector okay and the last use of this combination set for marking the meters that means the 45 degree if we want to measure 45 degree then we can definitely use this combination set okay so these are the some important questions i'm going to discuss about some other important questions in my upcoming videos so i'm requesting everyone please like and share my video and and most important thing is to subscribe my channel because uh, by this you can get the notification of my uh, upcoming videos okay and i'm requesting again to again everyone to watch my uh, video lectures to get the detailed knowledge of the workshops and the links links of my videos are available in the description side of this video okay thank you again